There we go. Oh, baby. What do we got? Fishing freaks, welcome on back to the channel. We are here where many adventures begin at the Bucky's gas station. I just found me something pretty cool. You know what they got here? I mean, this should just be standard ish, but man, Bucky's hooking it up with that ethanol free pump. We're gonna trickle some good stuff in here. Fill her on up and head over to Lake Fork, trying to catch the infamous big black crappie. Ethanol free gas. 163 is the cost. Let's make sure this is not deaf fluid. Nope, we're ethanol free. Okay. Speaking of deaf fluid, update on the truck. I want to thank you guys for commenting, and uh, some of you even sent me emails from problems with uh, some of these Chevy diesel engines. And it turns out it was a manifold issue. They got to order this part uh, from GM. It should be available this weekend. And hopefully I get the truck back uh, here in the next, you know, three to five days. But for now, taking dad's adventure wagon and we will be using it to sleep in tonight. Oh my goodness, y'all. Take it in. I'm smelling fresh cut grass right now. Y'all can't smell it, obviously, but whew, enjoying this awesome view right here at Lake Fork. Little backstory, this place that I'm gonna be literally just camping here. I'm gonna be sleeping in the truck tonight in this guy's backyard because I don't wanna infect my germs in this place, but a fishing buddy of my dad's lives here. He's letting me use his boat ramp. He has a private boat ramp, it's pretty awesome. And he catches fish off his dock. He's got a dock right here. He barely even has to put his boat in the water. He's got brush piles out there. This is a really good spot. And if y'all don't know, I mean, literally the name of the channel, Lake Fort Guy, this place is where I fell in love with bass fishing and really just fishing overall. It was the first place I'd ever been where I saw a culture that was really circulating around fishing. And this entire community, these towns around here, it's, it's just all about the lake. There's this uh, mystique about big bass, legendary big bass, one of the best big bass lakes in the country, right here behind me. At the first time I came here, I obviously saw how great the fishing was. There was just all types of grass and fish swimming around everywhere. And it was during the spawn and all the restaurants, everyone was talking about fishing. Everyone's fishing, 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 fishing. And I was like, these are my people. This is what I wanna do with my life. I want to be a part of this and make my way into this world somehow and I'm just extremely blessed to be standing here in front of you today uh, sitting by Lake Fork and be a part of the fishing industry and been able to contribute to that and uh, live out my dream of really just being in the industry y'all um, so man I'm just blessed and I just wanted to say that before I dump the boat in the water and we're gonna be uh, tackling some crappie today oh man that water clarity looks good. Look at that stump right there. You think there's hasn't been a big bass spawn on that stump? I mean, come on now. Uh, I came around this time last year and I was catching them in just a couple of feet of water. So we might have to uh, strategize a little bit deeper fishing method. I love to catch them in the shallow. So like just casting, you know, it's literally like fishing a spinnerbait for bass. You throw it out there, reel by some brush, bam. I've already got some little jigs tied on uh, some little these are eighth ounce so we're pretty much all ready to go we just need to get in the water and find them grappies <laughs> before i even could throw my gopro on first cast <laughs> first cast on a jig wow i hope that's not like a bad luck sign beautiful black crappie right there though definitely a keeper going in the well my friend Okay, so I actually have not even left the dock area. I was just like, you know what? These little, this little stump line looks pretty good. And I just threw out one of these stumps. There's some current that's coming by here. That is a good sign though, because that fish was shallow and that's, that's how I really want to fish. I want to be able to throw up this shallow. Oh, there's a bite, got him. Another crappie. There we go, baby. Nice. 
Nice. Woo, paper mouth. Almost lost you. Almost lost you because you're so papery. Now this one is not, it's not a very big one for this lake, but still very nice. They got to be 10 to keep. Got an 11 incher. That's going to be a very, very tasty fish to take back home. There we go. Join your friend. The little jig head I'm using here is just a custom one that somebody, some, one of you sent me. And uh, it's got a little sickle hook on there. I like it. I like it. It looks like it'd be weird for hookups, but it hooks up really well as long as you're not jerking on them too much. That stump was in like six feet of water. It might just be one of them, these deals where I'm just plucking them off stumps, you know, just a couple at a time. I don't know if they're going to be in the full-blown grouped up mode. Hopefully we find that. Oh, there we go. Right on that wood. Oh, that's a bass. <laughs> Ooh, man. They live together, y'all. Imagine that was like a 10. It's crazy. It's really funny when you start crappie fishing, you actually figure out a lot about bass too, like where they're setting up and and they, they really share a lot of the same areas. I thought for sure that was gonna be a crappie. It was locked on the wood. Unfortunately, bass will just tear your stuff up, so I gotta get re-rigged here. Show you guys, any of y'all that are new to crappie fishing, it's really basic stuff. You know, it's a lot of a lot of jig heads, at least a lot of the tactics that I use, it's kind of like bass fishing. I'm literally flipping stumps. It's just, you know, I'm going for crappie instead of bass. Little grubs are good, little straight tail. Uh, little situations are good, a little tiny stuff, but I'm going to be using one of these uh, these LFT baby shads with a sickle tail on it. The sickle tail just adds, uh, it's like a grub tail. And I've got a bunch of little grubs here too I can throw on. I may, may give that a whirl, but I've only got a few of these left. I'm going to thread that through just like I would with any other swim bait on a jig head. Just like that, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of chartreuse on the tail. Literally just using the cap off the uh, the dipping glow. I'm not even dunking it in there. You don't need very much at all. Okay. Now we're ready to get back in the game. Got him. Oh my, that's a big bass. What in the world? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lake Fork. Oh, Lake Fork, I love you. You're just awesome. <laughs> That's a post spawner there. Jeez. Y'all, I fished my butt off yesterday for six, seven hours to try to catch a fish like this. And then I come out here crappie fishing catch one in 10 minutes that's just crazy ah, look at that skinny fish four and a half pounder probably big old mouth crappie fishing y'all unreal look at that little bitty jig isn't that something isn't that crazy I, what happens though is there's a lot of fry garters you know i've been seeing some fry and fry garters will attack anything and uh even bedding fish, they'll they'll inhale little jigs like that like it's nothing, like it's a little peanut just slurping in. It's really non-threatening, and uh, they just take it as, yeah, it's a little flea. Let me just flick that out of here. I'll suck it in my mouth. Nice fish right there, but you're not going in the fryer, buddy. Don't worry. See you, dude. <sighs> Hopefully you're an eight-pounder someday. Okay, let's see what other kinds of fish are lurking around in here. Crazy, I learned so much about bass fishing when I'm, when I'm crappie fishing. And you'll hear stories from people talking about crappie fishing out here and they hook some magnum bass, absolute giant. There's a big one. That's a big bass too. I mean, I'm a, I just found the bass. That's a big bass. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like five pounder <laughs> on, a, on a crappie pole. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, he's in a he's in a tree. He found that tree. He's gonna break me off. Nope. No, he's not. I think the braid might have saved me there. Now he's in another tree. Come here. Oh, this one's fighting so much more than that last one. Ah, if I get you in, it's gonna be a dago miracle. Ah, you're at the surface. Come here. Ah, honestly, he's not that much bigger. He's just. It's just a daggum bulldog. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, about the same size. No flipping you in the boat. Ah. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Ah. If y'all are wondering why Lake Four Guys, the name of this channel, is because the first time I came out here, fell in love with fishing. I mean, just the mystique of the bass. There's so many bass out here this size, you know, four or five pounders, and you can just have a field day with them. I'm not even trying to catch them right now. Amazing, absolutely amazing, good fish. Again, on the jig, I think they're fry girders. Bloody tail, so. Hey, let's keep throwing the crappie jig. We might catch an eight pounder today. All right, just ran into another creek and uh, fished up shallow for a minute. I mean, it was really shallow. Uh, this is actually an area I caught them last year and I think they're just done spawning and being up in that like super, you know, two to four foot. But I just found myself a little stump out here, rolled by it with the side imaging and I could see it's got. So that's the stump right there. I'm gonna drop down, see if I can catch him. I want to say they were like 10 feet down. So I've got myself a little, uh, just a straight little plastic on there. No moving appendage because I'm going to vertical fish them. Apologize for the chainsaw noise. There's nothing I can do about that though. Man's working on his beautiful yard out here. Lake Fork. Can't fault him for that. This tree has got fry all over it too. They're definitely on this side of the tree. Ah, had them on for a second. Come on, my little babies. Get on there now. Got him. There we go. Oh, man. Little crappie. Little crappie. That's probably why they weren't getting it. You were just a little too small, but you've shown yourself. Now I got to remember that depth. My rod is eight feet long, so kind of get a gauge with that there he is there's a keeper there we go baby you can see him on the electronics right there there's a bunch of them got him feels like another good one yes sir Keeper crappie, right in the top of the schnozzle there. So what I did is I basically went to the first most logical spot, the first drop off, good drop off with cover that was close to a spawning area where I caught them last year. You know, they weren't there, they're done spawning. So I came up to this, uh, this little break and I just started idling around it. And the first tree I, I thought I found them, but I think they were white bass moving through because they, they weren't really on the cover. So when you're looking for crappie, you could pretty much bet that they are gonna be on the cover, on the wood most of the time. And I, I drove by this one and I saw on the side image, it was just littered with them, you know, it had like a dozen or more. So that was a good indicator. Those are crappie. Just gotta get the right size ones here. Got him. Little guy. These are sitting significantly deeper in this creek. Got him. Soft bite. Or they're just small. That's another reason. Okay, I'm gonna switch up colors. See if I can get, get a little bit bigger one. I'm gonna go with a little electric chicken right here. Electric chicken, finger licking. Just got floated. Got a bump. Got him. Little. Little black crappie. 
This is so cool to catch crappie like this. They have like a racing stripe down, <laughs> down their back. It's really pretty. That's just a tiny one. Where's your mama? And I can see a couple juicy ones down here right next to the tree. Got him. There's a keeper. I think. Yeah, hey, you're close. <sighs> Not gonna make it. Got him. Come here, buddy. God damn it. Little ones. Found him. Look at them all up in there. My gosh. Oh, bumped. Bumped, got him. Come on now, sir. Get up in here, keeper. There we go. A little bit better. Not exactly what we are looking for, but he's definitely a keeper. So I actually saw, I mean, I don't know if I could tell on the electronics, but it was, it was quite a wad. You look down there, there's brush and there's fish all mixed in in the brush. It looks like a tasty treat. I just moved up to that top of that brush box. You can see fish right there in it. Boy, yeah, we're we're not getting that back. Sometimes your your jig heads will bend out like that one just did. Okay, so even though I found a buttload of crappie right there, I'm gonna bounce from this spot because. I think there are a lot of small crappie. Again, that's only like 100 yards from that last spot. When I got on top of them, you know, that seems like they don't bite nearly as good. I have to cast, and they're in like a, a tree that is, it comes up to seven, and it's kind of laid down. I mean, I'm looking at them right now. There's, there's like 50 of them in that tree, but I, they just look small. I mean, I just confirmed it. I had one keeper. My first bite was not a keeper, so I'm gonna keep moving. I may just go back to the creek, man where it all started and keep working all the way back there and just pitching shallow stumps. I like that better, you know. I just, that was where the keepers were that I caught. And uh, unless I just absolutely see a mega wad, like bigger than that one, I don't think I'm gonna fish these deep trees. Come on, big cruppies. Got some spindly looking trees right here. Coming up on a point. Hooked up, big crappie, big mega crappie. Yes, yes, there we go, y'all. That is what we're coming out here for. Sorry, my GoPro ran out of juice right there, but that is a big, healthy black crappie. I've been looking for you all day. Are you gonna give us any friends? Man, y'all, that one actually thumped it good. I mean, when they hit it, a big crappie, it's like a fast jig bite. Boom. Suck that thing in. Little bass. No little bass. That last crappie could have eaten you. And there's just a lot of stumps right here in this five foot of water. So I'm hoping to just pick a few more mondos off like the last one I caught. I'm just fishing a small little grub right now. And I'm throwing past these stumps like 10 feet. I'm just slowly swimming it from what I've seen on the electronics. If they're not grouped up, I think the little ones are the ones that are stacked together. And these bigger ones, there's only like one or two of them together and they're like in the tops of the trees when I'm idling in deep, deeper water, but they're only, you know, like seven feet down or so. Ooh, got him. Crappy, biggin' son. All them keepers, man. That's not really a big one, but definitely a keeper. All those keeper bites coming on these stumps just isolated like five to seven feet of water Let's see if i can get another one there i didn't even see the stump i was throwing in between the stumps could have come on another one 
it's like a freaking huge bass sitting on it too. You can like see the outline of that football right there. Ooh, I think I just had it. I think I just had a bite. Oh, got him. Oh, geez. Definitely a crappie bite. Good one. Ah, I had him. He's swimming with it. Ah, what is going on here? What is that? Got him. Got him. Spot like that. I don't think that was just one. Absolutely freaking inhaled it. Well, daggum, I'm hung up now. There we go. Oh, baby. What do we got? Oh, is this mega crappie? Oh, I think it is. Nope, it's a largie. Dadgummit. I was about to say that. That's her. That's old big. Golly. Bass on a little jigging rod. Pretty exciting stuff though. Ah. Yeah, baby. Can I fling this fish in? Oh, man, you're a healthy fish. There we go. If you think a two inch grub can't catch a bass in the nose, you're wrong. Two pounder, healthy as an ox. Very nice. You know what that fish feels like on this rod? It feels like a eight pound bass on a normal bass fishing rod. Can't tell me that's not fun. Another just mega fatty toad bass sitting in that perfect depth. Ooh, man, they're sitting off of these stumps like the crappie are. I'm getting pretty excited about my bass fishing adventure tomorrow. All right, we are back at the dock. We're gonna close it out right here. A beautiful day on the world famous infamous sometimes lake fork and there it is big and beautiful you're definitely going to go on the dinner plate my friend my dream is to catch one three pounds so that was the biggest one of the day i ended up with i think nine other ones as well you know the key was basically swimming uh, a jig or a little grub uh, or a little you know swim bait by those stumps for the bigger ones i did find lots of fish out in deeper water but it was it was really just uh mostly small fish i couldn't pull any big ones out of there so honestly more fun for me too like getting to target those areas and learning about the bass fishing at the same time i mean it's it's really cool how the two species integrate together i'm not full crappie crazy but i'm getting there i'm pretty darn close because there's so many things that are similar to bass that you have to unlock and figure out and it really is like dial really dialing it into specific things sometimes and definitely today it was you know for the bigger ones anyway finding those stumps five to seven feet of water swimming that thing by there just so and then popping them so i am going to close it out right here at the dog get the crappie in the cooler and tonight uh we might even do a little bass fish tonight but I'm gonna save that for a whole nother episode and I'm gonna be camping in the truck. I would never call it roughing it when I'm sitting right next to the water's edge, listening to the water lap over in beautiful camping weather, probably 55 degrees tonight, wow. And I know I've been hearing it in the comments, but let me know if you wanna see more crappie videos. I honestly enjoy doing it. And I think, uh, I think some of you are turning on to crappie as well. Go ahead and double smash. No, don't double smash, that might like make it a negative. Just hit it hard one time big old like button and thank you guys for being here god bless you i will see you soon